What is the measure of a man? I think it's what he makes of each day and how he deals with adversity, no matter the odds. September 2007. Warned by intelligence that a top Al-Qaeda terrorist had been operating out of a neighborhood in Fallujah, Iraq, U.S. Navy SEALs silently approached the targeted compound in the dimness of the early evening. Commanding the mission was SEAL Officer Lieutenant Jason Redman. As they searched the compound, several armed men ran from a nearby building towards a thicket. The SEALs quickly realized they had the wrong target. Pursuing the insurgents, they were met with heavy fire from what turned out to be highly trained Al-Qaeda fighters. Redmond and his men were caught in an open field, their night vision goggles nearly useless against the hidden enemy. Bullets smacked the ground as Redmond watched a teammate go down, his legs shattered. Leading a desperate defense, Redmond himself soon fell, a bullet ripping through his arm. Knowing he couldn't be reached without others being exposed, he struggled to his feet and began to fall back. He made it just a few steps before he felt an incredible smash to his face. He slumped to the ground, lifeless. Lieutenant Redman woke to flares of red light cutting through the darkness, air support, arriving as the battle intensified. He had lost so much blood that he had to will himself to breathe. Flat on his back, he came to the terrifying realization that he had been shot in the face. Then and there, he accepted his fate, that he would die on the battlefield. As he began to let go, a single thought rushed into his mind. His wife, his family, miraculously, with what strength remained, and with the aid of a teammate, he rose to his feet and struggled to a nearby medevac, collapsing into the darkness. As he slowly gained consciousness through a drug-induced fog, Regman found himself in a hospital, his face shattered and his arm nearly torn off. He faced months of surgeries, metal plates, skin and bone grafts, and rehab. He found comfort in the fact that his wife Erica was determined to stand by him no matter what. But what was truly difficult was the sorrow and pity he knew others felt for him. But that was not going to keep him down. Determined to do something about it, with a poster board and a marker, he penned a warning to those entering his room and posted it on his door. To all who enter here, if you are coming into this room with sorrow or to feel sorry for my wounds, go elsewhere. The wounds I received I got in a job I love supporting the freedom of a country I deeply love. I am incredibly tough and will make a full recovery. What is full? That is the absolute utmost physically my body has to recover. Then I will push that 20% further through sheer mental tenacity. This room you are about to enter is a room of fun, optimism, and intense rapid regrowth. Signed, The Management. Photos of the signs soon made their way online. The story of Lieutenant J, U.S. Navy SEAL, a wounded warrior who refused to surrender to his wounds, went viral. His sign became the motto for thousands of fellow wounded warriors to come. Though the body may be broken, the spirit remains unconquerable.